Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the skill video Administration of Intermuscular Injection. I'm in the appropriate school attire, wearing shoes, badge is visible, no polish, no acrylic nails, nor jewelry. Alright, to start this video off, I'm going to gather my supplies, my medication vial, um, two alcohol wipes on the gauze pad, a pair of gloves, and then my syringe and needle. For this skill video, we need a 3 milliliter syringe, like so. And then we needed either a 22 or 25 gauge, uh, one to one and a half inch needle. I have a 22 gauge, one inch needle. All right, my supplies are ready to go. Next, I will verify the six rights of medication administration. That is the right patient, right medication, right dose, right route, right time, and right documentation. After verifying those six, I will check the medication ordered in the EHR and verify this uh, medication against the MAR. I have to do that three times before ever giving medication to a patient, so this is my one out of three times. Um, the medication order for my patient is morphine sulfate injection, and the order reads one dose of six milligrams, excuse me, IM, meaning intramuscular. I do dosage count regardless of how simple um, the calculations are. So, um, we're going to post a note, nothing on the back, front reads calculations, a milliliter over four milligrams, which is what I have on hand, and then the order, multiplied by the order, which is six, six milligrams over one, equaling 1.5 milliliters. So, I will be giving my patient 1.5 milliliters of morphine sulfate. All right, I'm going to gather my supplies, head to my patient's room, knock, uh, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy and to avoid any HIPAA violations and set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. Come over here on hand hygiene and introduce myself to the patient. Hi, Mrs. Smith, my name is Emily. Can I please have your name and date of birth? As I verify with their wristband, this will count as my two patient identifier. All right, that is correct. Uh, do you have any allergies I need to be made aware of? No allergies? Okay. Now that I've laid eyes on my patient and verified with their wristband, I'm going to check my medication against the mark for my um, second time. Ooh. All right, Mrs. Smith, as you can probably tell, I have stuff for an injection here. Your physician ordered you to have a morphine sulfate injection. And um, the mechanism of action for this medication is that it binds to your uh, central nervous system uh, receptors. They alter the perception of painful stimuli. And the use of this medication is that it treats um, uh, moderate to severe pain. There are common side effects that coincide with this medication. They uh, could range from nausea to constipation or slight drowsiness. Now, even though, so, even though those are considered common, if they seem to get worse or prolong over time, please let me know. There are also adverse reactions to this medication that we do not want to happen. If you feel like you're going to pass out, any tachycardia, so your heart racing, or if you notice your breathing or respirations um, slowing down drastically. Um, anything like that, please let me know immediately. Obviously, I'll come back and assess you and uh, take a full set of vitals, but if anything uh, shows up like that before or after I come see you, please let me know and um, we will, or I will notify the physician. I also want to let you know that upon injection, you may feel a slight burning or stinging sensation that unfortunately can be normal. Do you have any questions for me? No? No questions? Okay. At this point, I would verify the medication against the MAR for my third and last time. I'm going to come over here in hand hygiene and prepare the medication. Put on some gloves. I want to clean the top of my medication vial here. Dispose of this. Then I need to attach my uh, needle to my syringe. So again, three milliliter syringe and 22 gauge uh, one inch needle. Just twist it on the end. All right, dispose of this. Then I want to draw up the uh, desired amount of air. Again, holding like a pencil, needle up, cap on. So that is 1.5 milliliters of air. Okay, like so. Okay. Then I want to inject the air into the medication vial. Invert. And pull in the desired amount of medication. I want to make sure there's no air bubbles. So I can either tap, or like I had to in the beginning, fully inject the air uh, back into the syringe. Um, to remove any air bubbles. 
There are none. Okay. I need to uh, recap the needle, so I will use the sweep method. Just like so. Cap on. My medication is ready to go at 1.5. Kind of hard to see. Okay. Move my medication vial out of the way. Uh, next, I need to locate the uh, site. So, when giving an intramuscular injection, there are three places this can be done at the deltoid area, the vastus lateralis on the side here, or the ventral gluteal area. My patient wants it in her uh, ventral gluteal area. Then I will use anatomical locations to pinpoint the exact location for injection. I'm going to use the uh, heel of my hand here. I'm going to uh, put that on the patient's uh, greater trochanter. Then I'm going to use my thumb, point towards the groin, the index finger, point towards the iliac spine, and my middle here to point towards the iliac crest or the buttocks. This will create a V triangle shape, and that will... Um, the site of injection needs to be uh, in the middle of that triangle, so right in the middle of my injection pad here. After uh, finding the location, I then need to assess the site. I want to check the muscle for the size of the muscle, the integrity of the muscle, and then I also want to look for any signs of bruising, irritation, or edema. Then I want to gently palpate for any tenderness or masses. The site, or uh, masses, or hardness, the site is uh, acceptable for use. I then want to clean the site, starting at the center, working my way out two inches. All right, dispose of this. My site is uh, ready for use. I need to let the air dry. I do not want to touch it now that it is air dry. All right, when um, inserting the medication, I need to hold between these two fingers here. Move the cap, hold like a dart, and I'm going to inject a 90 degree angle, palm down. I also need to use the ulnar side of my hand here because I want to apply tension on the skin to make it tight. So I'm going to come here with the ulnar side of my hand, pull in the skin, then use these two fingers to spread it out without touching the injection site. Come at the skin here, again, and then you grangle, inject. Then I'm going to use these two fingers of my non-dominant hand to stabilize the syringe like so. I want to pull back on the plunger here about 5 to 10 seconds to see if there's any blood. There's no blood, so that means I am in the muscle. And I'm going to inject the medication into the patient's uh, muscle here. 10 seconds per milliliter. Okay. While still holding pressure on the ulnar side of my hand, I want to leave the needle in for 10 seconds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. I'm going to remove the needle. Release the skin, place the cause pad on top, um, dispose of this immediately in the sharps container. And then I want to make sure that I do not rub or um, massage the site. Just want to check for any bleeding. There is none, so I will dispose of my remaining items. Remove my gloves. Mrs. Smith, are you comfortable? My patient has stated she is comfortable. She has her call light in her bed is in appropriate position. Now I will remove my gloves, dispose of them in the trash hand hygiene, and go document my results.